I think it's time for some Euro Stimulator. European Truck Simulator, Episode 2. The trailer strikes back. No, wait. A attack of the. Fuck you, George Lucas. Alright, we're very tired. Oh no. This is off to a bad start already. So we're just gonna go chill. We're gonna go have a nip. Nip, nip, nip. We're gonna have a nap, is what I was gonna say. It's yellow, I can go. So, uh, I think it was a sleepy place in the truck depot. At least there was when we started the game. And all the truck depots look exactly the same. So, let's go take a nap. Do, 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 do. Oh, how is everyone? Oh, no, shit, shit, shit. Sorry, gotta turn around. Oh, man. I don't know, I just kind of feel like playing this game. I'm never gonna reverse it. It's one of those games that's just uh, so bad, you just want to play it. Uh, what's in the news? What's in the news we can discuss? Uh, fuck all, because the news is boring. Um, something about an Olympics or something. Um, something about a Queen's Jubilee or something. People are putting up flags. It's all very silly. Um, didn't know we were still a monarchy. Behead them all, etc., etc. Bloody monarchists. Yep. I, seriously, I think the only people it's done for is the bloody tourists. You know? Let's have a nap. How do I... Oh, I turned the engine off. And enter to take a little nap. Do, 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 do. And it's 4.45 in the morning. Yeah, so... Oh, I've got to take the brake off, otherwise it doesn't move. Let's try and do a little better today. Still barely any traffic. Oh, a good stretch. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about uh, something relaxing about Euro Trucker. Ah, brakes. Oh wait, the light was green. Yeah. Not doing too very good. All of the see, my tongue's oh. Damn it. My tongue is all screwed up at the moment. I can't think straight. Let's see what we can um, deliver today. Alright, well, we are in there, so we could deliver to the Prague. Can we go to Vienna? Um, what kind of monies do we have here? Yogurt, 4,300. That is the most expensive one. Oh, we could be delivering cheese. <laughs> oh dear. You know what? I think we should deliver some yogurt. Wait, didn't we do that last time? No, it was ice cream. We were, we were an ice cream man. Okay, take a take a job. You're a goodies trailer again. Ah, oh. let's hope this is uh, good yogurt. Some prime shit, none of that weird stuff with all the like yakal. It's not really a yogurt. Don't call it a yogurt. It's horrible. That's what it is. It's made from yaks. Yaks that were in a cult. Hi and welcome to Stimpy Silly Time. But I'm dumb. All right, let's find out where we're going with this thing. Uh, map, please. Dankeschön. Okay, we've got to go to Vienna. This time we can't cut through Berlin. So, we get on the E67, then on the 65, and we're done. 67 and 65. So, that's that away. Hey guys, can, can I cross? Thanks. Okay. Do, 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 do. Could have gone the other way, I guess. Oh, handbrake. 
Ah, oh, I can't see the lights. Careful, trucker. I think it's red still. Yeah, and there we go. Fuck you, man! The light was still orange. Uh, yeah, we can go this way, that's fine. Ah, oh, dearie. So. Still hot. Still hot here in England. Don't like it at all. Do not like it at all. Should be cooler in the last next few days. They say there's going to be rain. Am I really talking to, about the weather? Oh my god. It's Friday. It's Friday. I just got done recording some Minecraft. Probably industrial variety. It was pretty pretty interesting. Got some stuff done. Started working on an actual project. Which I was quite pleased about. Uh, 67 straight on. Okay. Oh, got the barrier. Oh. Oh god. Oh no no no. Oh. Oh, wow, that was actually pretty bad. We did a lot of damage to the trailer then. Seriously. If, if this, if this uh, game had sensitivity, like options, like you could change the sensitivity, it would be a lot better. Because there's like no, no dead zone between like, left, right, left. So it's constantly tappings. Not good. Not good for the fingertips either. Apparently, massive lag. Why am I getting massive lag? Okay. That was weird. I think I'm going to save it. Yeah, I'll save it. Do 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 do. Okay. And off we go. There's the Warsaw and Praha. CZ, what's that? I'm assuming Czech Republic? Oh yes, because we started in the Czech Republic, didn't we? I remember. I remember. Yeah. It takes me a while to remember these things. That's why I have notepads. Hey, not doing too bad this time. It's the morning sun rays coming down upon us. Uh, no lights are automatically turned off, that's not fun. Oh, careful, careful. Hey, we've got a radio, how does that work? Get some Jimi Hendrix. Driving around in the big truck, do 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 do, cutting up everyone on these roads, do do do, being a menace in Europe, do 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 do. do. <laughs> hey, it's a guy in a van. Do we need any petroleum liquidites or dieselly fuelions? I really can't tell. I don't know which gauge that is. Well, one, when, when one of them gets to pointing to, to the left, I'll get some petroleum distillate or dieselium distillate. Dilithium crystals. Yeah. This truck runs on dilithium. That's why it's so slow. Dilithium chambers weigh a lot, you see. I don't know. For some reason I have Star Trek on the mind. Oh, I went to see Men in Black 3 on Wednesday. Um, yes, with me lady. It was brilliant, actually. 
Um, thought it was going to be shit. It was actually very good. They took a slightly more serious tone than Men in Black 2, which was needed because Men in Black 2 was pretty terrible overall. I mean, it was it was a good movie, but you know, it's not something that you could rewatch that often. But Men in Black 3, brilliant. I only have one, one very small nitpick, very small, because I am a nitpick kind of person. Now, here's a minor spoiler. It's not really that spoiler spoiler, it's more of a plot location. But basically, here it comes, three, two, one. There's a prison on the moon, right? There's a prison on the moon for obviously alien convicts, yeah? Because, you know, the moon is a good place. Anyway, for the establishing shot for this prison, they zoom out slowly, and um, there's uh, the American flag planted by, you know, Mr. Neil Armstrong from, you know, Apollo 11. Uh, why are we stopping? Oh. Yeah, right. And it zooms out a little bit more, and then there's the LEM, the Lunar Excursion Module. Now, if you know even half a thing about, you know, the actual Apollo missions, whatever, you know that up on the moon right now, the only thing that is left of those landers is the legs. You know, the descent stage. Gold foily coated, gold, uh, what is it, like 11 layers of mylar or something or other? Gold foil mylar or some stuff. And yeah, yeah, but that's the only bit that's left because the top silver bit is the ascent stage, which is how the astronauts leave. But obviously, whoever decided to make that little CGI scene didn't know that because um, they didn't actually fucking research shit because there's an ascent stage quite happily sat there on the moon. So, um, yep, a little bit of annoyance there. And, of course, some could argue that it's, it's the Futurama Clause. The Futurama Clause. Uh, episode 2, I believe, Futurama, they go to the moon. Episode 2 of the very first series. And they shelter, they shelter in the Lunar Excursion Module. And it's got the you know, the ascent stage still on there. There's a little plaque in the background that says um, um, restored or something like that. It's like a museum piece sort of thing. Like they've put the ascent stage back on it for historical reasons. But, you see, that only that excuse only works when you get tourists. But, you know, secret men in black prison on the moon? Come on. Seriously. That's not going to get many tourists, you know. So that was my only little rant, and of course there was the obligatory like two or three scenes that were made specifically for 3D, and I don't cotton to that shit, so I don't watch movies in 3D, because it's a gimmick, and if a movie can't stand up on its own, then it doesn't deserve to be in a fucking theatre. Piranha 3D was an exception, because it was designed around the concept of 3D as, a, as an actual cinematic piece, rather than the 3D shoved on as a little gimmick to get people into the cinema who don't know what the hell they're doing and just want to look at pretty colours. Yes. This Euro Trucker stuff, it's like my rant stuff, isn't it? Have, have I missed my exit? I haven't, have I? I've just been driving along, not really paying attention. No, it's good, it's good. It's good, because we've got to pass through uh, Praha or something, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, so, um... Hmm. I mean, it was a great movie. I would give it a good 8 out of 10. Uh, it's the best movie I've seen this year. But then again, I've not seen The Avengers. Everyone's saying The Avengers is brilliant. I, I just can't see that happening. Yeah, it's probably really good because, you know, Robert Downey Jr. is probably dragging the rest of the cast through with him because he's a badass. All right, he's a badass. Iron Man 1 and 2 is brilliant movies. I've not seen the second Sherlock Holmes movie, but damn. The first one was brilliant. Sorry, mate. I'm talking about movies here, all right? No, fuck. Yeah, no, that's it. In the middle. <laughs> Stop making little tunes up. Oh, wow, look at the tearing of the trees as they disappear into the background. 
You can, there, oh, there goes one. Huh. It's the border. Eh. It's alright. Yeah, but it was a good movie. It's a good movie. That's what Dark Shadows did now the other day, or a little while ago now. Yeah, it was a good movie too. But more so, Men in Black. It was good to see uh, Will Smith uh, doing a comedy role. Yeah, he felt comfortable in the role, it seems, which is good. Tommy Lee Jones looking a bit old now. I have to say, did they actually add extra makeup on him to make him look even older? Seriously, because. He, he looks like he's like several hundred years old. It's all good though. He's good. He's a good actor. And he plays the role well. And the other characters are pretty good. The various characters that are doing various things. Um, I would have to say there was not really an annoying character or anything. Um, no return of the balding guy that I can never remember his name but he's been in lots of comedies. He was... Um, he did some work on Wonder Show, Wonder Shows, and if you remember Wonder Shows, and especially the um, the hillbilly segments they had towards the end of that shit run. Um, Wonder Shows is one of those weird things. If you if you've not were heard of Wonder Shows, and uh, if you can imagine a cross between Sesame Street heroin and 1950s kind of 1960s informational TV shows, it's terrible. It was brilliant actually. The first series is absolutely amazing, but I, do I need to? I needed to get off there, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> Coming through. Wow, I wobbled him a bit, didn't I? Oh god, no jack knife. Okay, cool. I was supposed to get off here. I didn't realize. But yeah. You know, I forgot what I was talking about at all. Wow. Mind like a sieve full of holes. Like bigger holes than the stack. Jesus. Broke my truck. Alright, what was it? I gotta try and. Wait a minute. What was I talking about? Screw it. Probably wasn't important anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was watching an interesting documentary, actually, um, a series of documentaries um, called Moon Machines. Moon Machines. If you're interested in space and um, you're more interested in like the technical machines of the thing, I do recommend it. Moon Machines. Um, each episode is they're about 45 minutes long, and they go for an in-depth look into a specific area. Like I think the first one is the actual Saturn V launch vehicle. And you've got the command module. And you, there's a whole one episode just about the guidance system and what they went through to actually make a computer small enough and you know capable of doing it. And, you know the various leaps in technology they had to. You know they just had to make it up on the fly, really. So, oh yeah, it's quite interesting. Spacesuit one's always interesting because I've always liked spacesuits. You know, if I ever get the chance, if I, am, if I ever come into a lot of money, I'm going to buy a real spacesuit. They do appear on eBay. You know, I will buy one one day. Um, American ones are obviously not going to appear that often because they're American and they're like, you know, Americans are like with that sort of stuff. But after the fall of the Soviet Union, there was a lot of um, a lot of Russian spacesuits, just kind of like Russian hardware, just ended up in privately owned hands. For various, various different reasons. And I. What was. Uh, I can't remember what the last price was. I think for about £250,000, you can get yourself like a, a real used fucking full spacesuit or something. Might even be less than that. I, it's been a while since I looked. But one of their cool ones with the weird bubble helmet that's attached. They're kind of the Soyuz crews wear. They're lovely. I'd love to have one of them. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Of course, there was the SpaceX launch. I talked about that in the last one, actually, I think. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, cars everywhere. Lots of traffic here. I think we're nearly at our destination. Good, because I'm falling asleep. <laughs> Man, I 
hear how you have to actually just hold down on W to go forward. Most simulators have like an actual accelerator, sort of like, sort of, you know, I guess that's aircraft ones I'm thinking of, but still. Man, Kerbal Space Program's come on a bit, isn't it? Yeah, 0.15. Uh, I've been trying to... I have made a space shuttle. I've got it into space and I've landed it once. It's just so tricky coming back into the atmosphere. Because if you don't if you don't keep the keep yourself like that, at the controls keeping it right on the right heading just all the time, it just falls apart. Like as soon as you hit the atmosphere it's like twang, nope, you can't do this. And then where are you? You're suddenly flying backwards into the ground. I should probably sleep. <laughs> yeah, I moved all the cars. That was unintentional, I didn't actually mean to do that, I kind of just... Out of the way. Come on, get in. Ah, there it is. There's no one in there. Hi. Hi. Don't mind me. Just... I got one of them. Mine's a higher tone. Deal with it. You jelly mad? You mad jelly. I think you was mad jelly. Oh god, this is gonna happen terribly, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna... oh god, I broke the trailer. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We'll, we'll go to sleep. Okay, that's a weird view. We'll just have a nap. Hopefully no one will nick the trailer. You complete your first careless drive. You have crashed into other vehicles five times. Well, you know what? Not care. Not caring. Because it was their fault. It was totally their fault because they were on the road when I was. They should have saw me come in and go, Oh, hey, it's that guy that's awesome. We should get out of his way. Oh dearie, this is not going to end well, is it? Where am I going? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do something here, guys. Get out of the way. Alright, well there it is. Oh, screw off. They usually turn on automatically. Whoa! Hey, these people are maniacs. Never drive in Europe, people. They're all maniacs. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, come on, get around there. That's better. We have a trailer, folks. Coming through. Osterreich. What's Osterreich? Uh, oh man, I can't remember. Is it Switzerland? Yeah, sure it is now. Oops, sorry, hit the mic. Hey, it's just gone Wednesday. We're near our drop off, folks. Ooh, bit of a twinge. Been sat in this chair too long driving these trucks. Who are? Who are? Yeah, driving these tractors. I was recommended Farming Simulator. Yeah, it's by a person who actually plays this game, like, actually, like, you know, he really enjoys this game. And I've heard terrible things about Farming Simulator. I think he's just, like, one of these people who enjoys harming themselves with, you know, like, mentally. It's fine, though. It's fine, though. Cause, I mean, I'm playing this crap. It's enjoyable. 
disturbingly is kind of enjoyable to drive around. Oh, there we go. Let's put on the high beams. Huh. We're nearly there. Hmm. Sort of a rant at about today. Uh, a minor incongruity in Men in Black 3. Um, nothing about. Uh, oh. Um, I'm running out of fuel, am I? Can I make it? To. Where is the fuel gauge then? Oh, it's right there! It's the second one in on, in on the left. Well, I just passed a station and I got a turn off here, so. Could have warned me a little sooner than that, man. Wait, I have got a turn off here, haven't I? Yeah. Those signs didn't say Vienna ice, Viennese ice cream. Ah. Uh, was Vienna was the whole Viennese ice cream thing actually? You know, is it from Vienna? Maybe I should look that up. Probably. lights are very bright, but only in a circle around them. Okay, where is it? Ah! Right here. The Euro Goodies Depot. Depot. It's a depot, not a depot. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just messing with you. Call it a truck house if you want. Hey, this is almost good. Hey, that is almost good. Okay. You have delivered the cargo. Job reward 4,300. Damage penalty 462. Your income 3,000. And let's see how much for being a fag. Oh, four crash and the headlights. I have to say, all these crash offenses in the headlights, they are cheap. They are cheap. They are cheap. Right, well, I think I'm just going to find some fuel somewhere. Uh, do you think they'll have fuel in the the the, the, uh, the garage? Hey, get out of the way! Oh, whatever! Oh God! So let's see how much repairing this chunk chunk of butter chunk of butter is going to cost us. At this rate, we are like we're just never going to get anywhere. It's going to cost... What? English, please? 400. That. Brakes. Tires. Wow. We can buy upgrades? Huh. How much is color? Ooh, what color should we go? Oh, all pink. Um, uh, <laughs> huh. That's. Hmm. Well, we could always go with. Ooh. Ooh. No, screw it. Well, that's that. Still need to find some fuel. Turn the engine off. Put on the brakes. Alright, that is it for this episode. I will see you all next episode. It's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from any invisible hitchhikers I've carried. Off to their doom. Their corpses are suddenly in the back of the truck with the yogurt. 
That's not strawberry flavor. Nah, nah. Not all truckers are murder axe murdering crazy man. Just me. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.